everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impression review on the new Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. And this is the shade Blanc that I'm trying out today, which is the lightest shade they make. They actually make, I think it's 26 shades, so they've got a huge range of shades to pick from, which means they can suit many, many skin tones. And they do go very, very pale, as well as going quite dark for deeper skin tones too, which is awesome. So this is what the product looks like here out of the box. As you can see, it's like a nice sort of triangular shaped uh, stick foundation. It's got a really lovely weight to it as well, so you can tell it's like really, really high quality. This is a luxury product after all. I just love the shape of it. I think it'll be really awesome for like getting in and around the face. Um, so I think that shape is really innovative and very unique. The only thing about this foundation that's a little bit like wow, wow is the price. It is $69, it's quite expensive for a foundation or a luxury stick foundation, especially because in stick foundations, you don't get as much product as liquid. However, it does claim to be extremely full coverage, so therefore you don't need to use very much to get like a normal, medium, everyday sort of coverage level. So I'm hoping that's the case because the color looks phenomenal. The Blanc color, as you can see, it looks so, so pale. So I'm hoping that this would be a great foundation for those that are very, very fair like me. Just some extra details from the Mika website. Um, with coverage comparable to a concealer, the fluidity of a foundation and the weightlessness of a powder, this long wearing stick foundation has you covered. If you're new to my channel, then a little bit of information about my skin. I have a normal skin type that does lean slightly oily at times, and I get a few hormonal breakouts from my chin. I also have a very, very porcelain skin tone, as you can see. Uh, it leans a little bit cool, but it's kind of mostly neutral. Mika were also very kind enough to send me the brush, the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Brush, which is basically a angled top kabuki brush, and this feels so lovely and soft, so I'm very excited to try this with it. So I've just got a bit of moisturizer on from my morning skincare routine. I don't have any primer or anything. So I'm just going to get into the demo. Yes, so pale. Glides onto the skin really easily. So it is looking very, very fair. It's also looking a little bit on the pink side. So I think this shade is more for cooler complexions. Okay, let's just start with that. And I'm going to take the brush and blend it in. Oh, blends out a heck of a lot easier than I expected. This brush is so beautiful. That's one layer. It's done a pretty good job at covering, although my blemishes are still really visible. Um, the color is extremely pale. This is probably one of the palest foundations I've ever tried. It might even be a shade too pale. But the next shade up looked maybe a little dark, so maybe I'd be sort of somewhere in between the two and have to mix them. But I'll zoom you in so you can get an idea of what it looks like on my skin. So the one thing I noticed with it is that it looks quite like... Um, you can kind of see the product like sitting in around my pores. It's not like the smoothest finish, but I wonder if that's just kind of visible because the color is so fair. Um, but as you can see, it hasn't done the best job at like covering my breakouts, but I'm going to try and layer it up over that now. The finish of it is just a lovely matte finish. It's quite, um, it certainly doesn't look flat, but it's definitely got a matte sort of look about it. That I guess it's that sort of weightlessness of the powder. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing very much on my skin, which is great because generally I've heard that stick foundations can be a little bit heavier in consistency, but this feels very lightweight. So I'm just going to try and build it up over some of the areas that need a bit more coverage, and we'll just see how it goes. See if it works like a concealer. I feel like I need a little bit more down my nose as well. Okay, so with one application and some little touch-ups, that's what I'm left with. It has done a better job covering up if I layered it, but it does start to kind of look more obvious on the skin when you layer it up. So I'll go and put the rest of my makeup on, then I'll check back in with you. So that's what the foundation looks like with the rest of my makeup on. I actually think it does look a heck of a lot nicer once I added some blush and bronzer and things like that. It does give a very flawless finish, and it does build up well on itself as well. 
um, to a full coverage I think you could really layer it it'll just be interesting to see how it wears throughout the day um, it clung like a tiny bit to my dry patches like the dryness around my breakouts and around my nose but very minimally so I was actually surprised it didn't cling more so I think in that sense if you're a drier skin wearer and you want a stick foundation this might be something that is quite good um, considering stick foundations don't normally work that well for very dry skin so this might be something that works well I'll keep you updated obviously throughout the day on how it wears but so far I'm like happy yeah I'm happy I think the color is awesome I mean if anyone is as pale as me or even paler than me I think you'll be able to wear this um, it's only just past for me any fairer and I would have it would have been too pale so Yay, go Hourglass, that's awesome, I'm stoked. It's currently 10 a.m. in the morning, so I put this on at about 9.30, so I will check in with you guys gradually throughout the day and give you my thoughts. One more thing, I was just about to put my camera away and then I remembered I wanted to do this. I am going to show you a bunch of swatches of the foundation next to a few of my other very pale foundations so you can see how the shade compares. Um, and I've also listed a few of my favorite foundations in the description for a bit of reference as well. So this is the Hourglass foundation here. This one is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD in Y205. This is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. This is Illamasqua Skin Base in O2. This is Marc Jacobs Remarkable in Ivory Light. And this is Lancome's Tint Adol Ultra 24 Hour Foundation in the shade 090 Ivory. So you can see that the Hourglass is by far the the lightest out of the bunch but it's also quite pink toned compared to some of the other shades hey guys so just checking back in it is currently five to one so my makeup's been on for a few hours now um, excuse my hair it's looking atrocious today <laughs> okay so thoughts on the foundation I love the finish of it now it's really settled into my skin and looks a lot nicer I think on my skin only problem I just went and practiced at uni for about two hours and this probably had the worst transfer of any foundation I've ever had onto my violin chin rest. On a violin there's like a little black uh, wooden chin rest that like your chin rests on basically, your jaw. Um, and basically all the foundation is worn off and I would like finish playing a section and like look down at my violin that was just like the chin rest was just covered in foundation and I always get a bit of transfer with foundations onto my violin chin rest. I've never had any foundation that hasn't transferred but this was like a lot like it was just covered in it whereas normally I just get like a little bit um, gradually throughout a performance or whatever but I will zoom you guys in so you can see I don't know if that's gonna show it but because it the the color match for my skin so good like you can't really see where the foundation stops and where it starts but there's a little bit of patchiness here and that's because that's exactly where my violin sits and gives me this beautiful hickey <laughs> yeah so it's just all worn off there However, the rest of my skin, I think, is just look, looking really nice. Um, yeah, so I'm quite happy overall otherwise. It's just not very transfer proof. So I think that's just something to keep in mind. So I think this foundation would hold up fine in like normal conditions, uh, but if you tend to rest your hand on your face a lot, or you have your cell phone up against your ear, or for my example, like I have an instrument sitting right on my chin, it's not going to stay it's not gonna last so I'll check back in with you guys later in the day as well um, I am actually going to yoga tonight at like 7 45 so it's quite late at night and we get really warm and sweaty so it'll be very interesting to see how this holds up but I'll probably check in before then as well so it's currently 20 past 5 so my makeup has now been on for nearly uh, eight hours seven and a half to eight hours and I'm actually still really happy with the finish of it it has gotten like a little bit more glowy on my forehead and such but so subtle it just actually looks like skin so that I'm really really happy with um my nose did run quite a bit because it's spring now in Australia so I get a bit of hay fever so my nose was running so I was wiping it and um where I use like my tissue it um the foundation did come off so as I said before about my chin rest it isn't transfer proof so that's the only thing about it that I found a wee bit annoying all day was the fact that like I had to be really careful not to touch my face because I was worried it's going to come off more so that's the only thing I have like the only beef really I have with it everything else I think actually is quite nice the colors great the finish has gotten so much better over the day actually I wasn't a huge fan of it when I first put it on but then once I put my makeup on and sat on my skin for 20 minutes I was like oh it looks better and then I did my first check-in and I was like I love it and then now I really like it so I definitely feel like it's one of those foundation that kind of warms up and sinks into your skin 
in a good way. So hopefully you can see like what it's looking like on my skin. You can see that very subtle amount of shine. I mean, I'm just using very dim end of the day lighting, so it's not certainly that reflective, but I think I might actually just wrap this review up now just because I am going to go to yoga later and it's going to, it's going to look terrible, let's, let's be real. <laughs> After an hour of yoga it's going to sweat off and look terrible so there's no point really checking and then I will let, write something if um, something miraculous happens and it looks amazing or oh, I might even check in but I think this is going to be my sign off. <laughs> so yeah, my overall thoughts, I think this would suit uh, a normal skin type, maybe people with slightly dry skin. Um, because it did seem to cope quite well with my dry areas for a stick foundation and I think if you're oily I think if you're just a little bit oily it'll be fine I think if you're very oily it will probably not work for you um, I have seen other reviews where people with oily skin didn't like it and for me like because I've gotten quite shiny over the day but like in a nice way it's a good amount of shine I feel like that's fine like if you're slightly oily like me like I'm normal to slightly oily therefore you'll be absolutely fine with it um, I do think though, because of how much product you get and for the price and the colour, it's so fair, Blanc is so so fair, I think it would make a better sort of cream highlighting product. That's how I'm going to use this. Um, I might occasionally wear it all over, but probably more likely use it just to sort of highlight the tops of my, uh, like the high points of my face, add a bit more coverage and whatnot. So. I hope you guys found this review useful. I was very excited to try it and thank you very much for Mecca for sending this out for me so I can try it for you guys and review it. If you have any other foundations you'd like me to review then please leave your suggestions in the comments because I do check them and make little notes and occasionally you know if I see it while I'm out shopping I'll try and pick it up for you and review it. Um, I can't always do all requests but uh, for example this was my most highly requested video that I've had for a long time. Like this product, I had about 20 people, separate people say, can you please review this foundation? So I went out of my way to make sure I get my hands on it. So if enough of you say that you want a foundation, then I'll make it happen. Just something else to point out as well. You might have noticed that recently I've been putting out a lot more content on my channel. I am trying to get back to two videos a week. What I'm planning to do, because I have so many reviews to get through, I'm planning to do a kind of more like foundation Friday so every Friday I'm gonna put out a video and it's gonna be most of the time it's going to be a foundation review occasionally I might swap it out for a different video but usually it's gonna be a first impression review on a Friday and then on Sundays will be like my normal videos like my tutorials and favorites videos and such like that so I hope you guys have a wonderful few days thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye